all the way because it's more important than me. It literally might just be Elder Dragons. Geothane, thank you. Subscribed for 12 months. Exo Primal is going to get time. It's in the lineup. No, I think it really will be Exo Primal Season 2 Season Pass Showcase. That's a cool title screen. This is this is hurting my soul. This is going to be update. Stop! Welcome to the TGS 2023 Capcom Online Special Program. We'll share news and updates. There's going to be Monster Hunter Now news. Games. We hope you'll watch until the end. I promise you we will Let's watch Let's have a look at this title first. It looks so good. I think this is playable on the game floor, on the show floor. Maybe we'll get a release date? That would be nice. Like, I can... Hello, everyone. I'm Hideaki Itsuno, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven action RPG set in an immersive fantasy Hopefully world designed there's, yeah, to place like, uh, choice at the heart of the quick gameplay Quick slots for item use? The action gameplay is designed to challenge your creativity, and although this is a single-player adventure, AI-controlled companions will accompany you throughout the experience. Today, I'd like to show you a little of what you can expect from the world of Dragon's Dogma 2 with this new game. Uh, Dragma's footage. great, but from everything that I've seen with Dragma 2, I think you may as well just In start Dragon's with that. In Dragon's Dogma 2, up to three AI-controlled beings called pawns can join you on your adventures. Good amount of blood. Players can choose from four starting vocations that determine how they will play. Of course, you will be able to change your vocation at any time by visiting Vocation Guild. It's maybe one of the worst starts for, now, for the best games the that I've ever vocation. played. And I hate to say that. Wielding a one-handed sword and shield, the fighter excels in melee combat. As a fighter, you can cut down enemies with a sword and protect yourself I was trying to figure that out, Nameless, when I was trying shield. to remember what the original class was. It was Rogue, right? And they added Archer? As we keep going, or they we started can see Archer some copies in the distance. Road. Strider, thank you. As oh an my archer, God. you'll be better suited to take down enemies above you. Let's see what they can do. The archer is a vocation that uses a bow and arrow to attack enemies from a distance. Make full use of your arsenal, including exploding or blighting arrows. You can also aim at Hopefully they make the like inventory management shooter. for the arrows easier as well. The monsters of Dragon's Dogma 2 behave organically in the world around them, and will even react to players by using their wits against you. Next, I would like to show you the mage in action. Mages excel the mage system in this game is so cool. As well as healing and support spells that bolster your party with various enchantments to give allies an advantage in battle. The more advanced and powerful the magic is, the longer the incantation Like, you can get all the mages casting the same spell at the same time to speed it up. Almost a thousand to people here? What, to watch with, me have a mental breakdown? <laughs> with other inhabitants of the world. What's this? We're trapped.
No bets on the table. The only bet is whether or not I get a job at UPS or DHL. Lastly, let's take a look at the thief. As a thief, you use daggers to strike at your enemies, relying on agility and quick attacks. Use swift step to quickly move away from enemies after an attack. The key strategy for That's the great. thief against massive monsters is to find I mean, openings and I mean, I'm not, I'm not coping already, but this is already pretty amazing, being able to see all this. Head -on is like, it option, looks very close to being done. But it's a good done. idea to utilize the environment around you while engaging with enemies. I really hope we get a release date. Between your chosen vocation, diverse terrains, and the particular monster you're up against, each encounter challenges players... Is he gonna fall on his ass? Yes! ...creativity to succeed. <laughs> Dude, that's great! Two nations prosper in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. Vermund, the human kingdom, and Batal, the land of Bistrin. In Vermund, the Arisen who slay the dragon have ruled as kings for generations. This land of lush meadows and rolling hills is ripe for exploration. In contrast, no, Capcom is a wouldn't just shadow drop it tomorrow. With a city built on the site I mean, at this point, ruins. I mean, I would assume it's coming out in January. And their unique culture. Between January and March, but I don't know. The nation of Batal offers players a different experience from the human kingdom with diverse environments to explore and monsters to encounter. In your adventures, you might come across people who call out to you. Massive L not putting an actual multiplayer? I think we all thought there'd be real multiplayer. Other times, you might receive You never know. They might have DLC at some point that adds it. Thank heavens. Thought I'd never make it. If I might be so bold as to impose upon you again, would you be willing to accompany me to the Oh, there's definitely going to be the advanced classes, Gator. Pawns with knowledge of a quest may be able to guide you to the right location. But it is up to the player to decide whether to follow them or not. Pawns support you throughout your adventures and may come to your aid when you are in trouble. <laughs> oh, he caught you! Or she? To Hard complete to tell. your quests, you can ride ox carts to travel to major locations. There was no Monster Hunter in the preamble, although they did say something about aware, Monster Hunter now as you might get in attacked the lead-up. route to your destination, and have to decide how to tackle the situation. During the ride, you can choose to close your eyes to quickly arrive at your destination. Okay, that's nice. Time is ever passing, even while riding an ox cart, and the environment around the player constantly changes. Nighttime is especially dangerous. With no light to eliminate your surroundings, you will be enveloped in pitch black darkness where you can't even see your feet. Also, there are dangerous monsters that only appear at night, so you need to be careful when adventuring in the dark. If you have a camping kit, you can find a campsite to spend the night and recover your health. That looks like some good stew in there. Can you have sex with your companions? Whoa. Tis the honor of my life to share your journey, Arisen. <laughs> to wrap up, I'd like to introduce some advanced vocations that Ooh. become available as you progress in the story. What's that one the with the double blade? Hand combines magic attacks and weapon-based physical attacks. A good all-rounder, yeah, they use their duo sphere at close man. range and magic at long range. They can also use magic to block an enemy's movement or throw multiple items at once. Yo, she just, he just shot the dead thing at it. Specializes in long-range attacks with magical arrows. On top of healing and providing support to your allies, they can learn a skill that releases a powerful attack over a wide area in exchange for reducing their own maximum HP. And of course, there are other unique vocations that you can looks look great, to. man. We have a playable version of Dragon's Dogma 2 at the Tokyo Game Show Capcom booth. Let me play it now! Depending on the choices they make, each player can experience very different playthroughs. We're very much looking forward to the impressions of those who get a chance to play. I mean, with one more base Dragon's class, Dogma they should have... is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Three more? Series X, Xbox Four more? Series S, and Steam. Please stay tuned for more information.
Thank you. No release date. No. No switch. I wouldn't want them to even consider the switch. No date. It'll get its own special announce special show. Next, we have news about Resident Evil. Flying was not in Dragon's Dogma one, no. Resident Evil 4, a reimagining of the 2005 original, has sold more than 5 million copies since its release in March earlier this year. It's been amazing to see so many people enjoying the game. I'm here to I mean, RE4 what makes is Resident popular. Evil 4 so appealing and delve into the new DLC that released today, Separate Ways. Separate Ways tells Ada Wong's story an interesting of outfit she has. Is that like a full body sweater? Content from the How does she get into it? As an How do you put DLC it on? Oh, is it a skirt? Oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought it was pants and not a Leon skirt. S. Kennedy as he travels to a remote village in search of the president's missing daughter. Separate Sweater ways, dress. in turn, follows Ada. I thought it was pants, and I'm like, how did she get in? Leon's arrival. And they're so at honor. Ada is tasked with a mission from the sinister Albert Wesker. Many obstacles stand in her way. An unknown threat gnaws at her body. Interwoven intentions surround the mysterious Amber. What choices will Ada make on this mission? The intense I'll action give from the main campaign returns as well. Fight back with precise gunplay. Use melee attacks against downed enemies. And wield your knife to parry attacks and silently neutralize threats. Ada's iconic grapple gun has also been added in separate ways, resulting in a more thrilling, fast-paced survival horror experience. Ada's gameplay has a unique feel from Resident Evil 4's Resident main Resident Evil campaign, players just want to shoot and zombies in the knees and then run out together the full scope of the story through separate ways. Find Lewis. Fetch me the amber. What about it? Guy? You disgust Can't me. Let you go that way. There's someone who needs my help. Oh. She's lost no matter what. You think I'm gonna give up that easy? Change of plans. There's no room for half measures. You can stop right there. Is that the final voice would acting? Like use this, would you? The Separate Ways DLC is available today. A free update. I feel like they the should have probably also releases today. Gotten a couple more Ada takes. Wong and Albert Wesker appear as new characters in this free update. The Mercenaries is an arcade style mode where you take down as many enemies as possible within the time limit. This DLC will be free to download for anyone who owns the main game. We hope you enjoy the revamped The Mercenaries. The Separate Ways mercenaries DLC is fun. and The Mercenaries free update both Maybe arrive the today for Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 hmm. is also discounted yeah, I don't know if the video game voice actors guild time. is striking at the if same time. If you haven't time. played the game yet, now is a great time. The free Resident Evil 4 VR mode DLC which will allow you to enjoy the main story of RE4 on PlayStation VR 2, is also currently in development. Prepare to jump headset first into this intense survival horror experience. The incredibly detailed environments come to life in VR, and you can see the world all around you. The immersive 3D audio and the intuitive controls unique to the Sense controller will also allow you to experience... Apparently RE7 version. VR was amazing. The slide and reload controls of the mini the weapons in the game are real. two guns at the same time? That gives me a bonus. Would I play a VR Monster Hunter? I would probably vomit. Maybe the with knife. Lance. Or Bowgun? Handgun. Shotgun. 
Sniper rifle. Big Bang made 1276 just gifted 25 subs. Big Bang made again! Who are you? All feature realistic control. Big Bang made being like, streamer, don't do it! Don't work for UPS. We've prioritized comfortable controls that don't. Everybody, please thank Big so Bang. Boxes made. and barrels that hide yeah, oil barrel, can man. be destroyed with one button. True Art, Tororo, Marshmallow, Paco Loco, Adam, Andre Lazo, everybody, VR please mode. thank Big Bang Made. When it releases this Big Big winter. Bang Made? Actually, Resident Evil 4 gifted a sub to another to a Big Bang platform. Made. <laughs> All Macs featuring Apple Silicon will support the game. The beautiful and detailed graphics of RE4 are powerfully represented on Mac. We aim to bring the realistic graphics... Keep that on uh, standby, Fog. Right? Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can Mac keep it users. on standby. Resident Evil 4 is also on its way to iPad. What? The game can be played on every iPad Air and iPad Pro model with an M1 generation That's so chip or funny! Hybrid you'll be able to enjoy intense survival horror at home or on the go. That's amazing. The Mac and iPad version of Resident Evil 4 wow. is planned for release in This year, man, just in time for Christmas. The Mercenaries and Separate Ways DLC we introduced today are also I mean, the that M1 chip Mac is supposed to be pretty powerful. Keep your eyes open for more information. Also, before the launch of RE4, oh! the iPad <laughs> version of Resident Evil Village will be released. It is also available for every iPad Air and iPad Pro with an M1 generation chip or higher. iPad compatible controllers are supported for a comfortable gaming experience. The button placement, Unbelievable, size, man. opacity, and display time are also adjustable for touch controls. So you can customize your experience. You could do this with you Monster want. Hunter too, you know. Enjoy I'm right Ethan there with Winter's you, Kinesis. Journey to find his daughter anytime, anywhere. Check our official site for compatible devices for each title. Rise for iPad? I would throw up in my lap. Next, we have the latest news on Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. First, let's take a look at this trailer. That really means, though, that we might see a Monster Hunter on iPad eventually. If they got the RE engine working on there? I think Apollo Justice was all made in 3D, so it should look fine. I don't remember if these... I think these were all in 3D. Objection. They don't look bad, though. They clean up better than the original ones. Paul Justice was 2D, but it looks like better than the original trilogy. Upscaled. The first three just look better in pixel art, the original pixel art. Paul Justice is your Phoenix favorite Phoenix Wright game? You play the original trilogy and you feel that way? Silence. Number five was like way too easy. They just like, they're like, don't, don't worry about trying to solve anything yourself. We're just gonna solve it for you. The prosecution is also ready. Five was so bad. Like, I didn't even want to play number six after playing five. I was just done. Hold it. She was, I liked Athena. She was fun. Scumbag, back hello. Nah, she's she's nice. She's a good companion.
five the Miles Edgeworth one? Those are separate. Those are completely separate stories. There was two of them? They were actually pretty hard. I don't think I played the second one, but I did play the first one. It was it was actually pretty difficult. They're probably it's probably the hardest in the series, the Phoenix uh Miles Edgeworth games. I beat it, but it was not easy, Shuff. Uh, actually, it was, it, was, it was hard. Story mode, I mean, to be fair, like... So, what did you think? The health Apollo system, Justice, I get why they Ace do it, Trilogy. but at the same time, it, the it doesn't really Apollo make Justice sense. You know what I mean? The Age of the Law will be released on January 25th, 2024. The hunting and searching in the environments are just kind of annoying, and then once you're actually doing the cases, like, you're just going to save and load if you fail. There's no Digital penalty for saving will be and loading. Available beginning in fall 2023. Keep an eye out for more news. Let's take a look at additional features that let you enjoy Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy to its fullest. Title Select launcher? Select an episode to play from each game right from the start. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You can also freely select any chapter within an episode. Huh. If you've played it before, you just want to skip this to where you were. also includes episodes and costumes previously released as DLC from Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dual This Destinies, is, uh, and Phoenix Wright, the Ace other Attorney, trilogy. Spirit of Justice. Players can enjoy the story with characters in different outfits, like Athena and Apollo in these school uniforms. The bonus episodes, Turnabout Reclaimed from Dual Destinies and Turnabout Time Traveler from Spirit of Justice are also included. These episodes are just as much fun as the main story, so we hope you give them a try. Actually, I disagree. I remember trying to do the DLC the for to check out five and I'm like, features. this sucks. I don't think I finished it. First is the Orchestra Hall. Where you can uh, to a I mean, I think there's at least six main Ace Attorney games, two spin-off with Miles Edgeworth, and then there's like An additional some side from story from the past. Are also included. Is that, there's Details a lot of them. The, featured songs will be the Great Ace on Attorney? Our official site after this presentation. For, I don't know. I don't so even know where you count the Professor Layton game. That's more of a Professor Layton game with Ace Attorney as a crossover, right? In the art library, you can view the largest collection of art to date, including character references. The interesting thing to me is like I don't feel like they sell a lot, but they clearly get a lot of like support from Capcom to keep making them. As you them. complete each game in the collection, you'll unlock illustrations from renowned illustrators. Complete all three games in this collection for another special illustration, so please look forward to it. It's okay, guys. We still have at least another the 25 minutes voices, left. Music and backgrounds with the animation studio to create combinations. No, I don't think it sells much more than like a million copies, game. if it even sells a million. Even combinations like this. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy will be released on January 25th, 2024. Keep an eye out for more news. They've always supported the lower selling series. Next, we have some news on the- No way! It better not be First, now. No! <laughs> no! Hello everyone. My name is Kano, and I'm the director for Monster Hunter Now at Niantic. Monster Hunter Now was just released this September. Have you been enjoying it?
You're done. If you haven't yet, you're you can watched. download the game for it's free over. on the App Store. And I mean, this is what we expected. There might be more than now. There's more. And it's not just going to be the title update in Exoprimal. You can go hunt giant monsters you, like Rathalos and Diablos in your own town. Of course, you can also rally with others to hunt in groups of four. <laughs> Ooh, I got myself a new favorite movie streamer. Also, Ooh, with what the sort of AR camera function of Monster Hunter now, you can take pictures together with your favorite monsters, like this. That's great. Even if your smartphone doesn't have a special sensor, you can take more realistic pictures with actual depth. Hold on, I have to turn off stream elements. I hope you'll give it a try. Finally, here's a sneak peek at the latest Monster Hunter Now news. There shouldn't be any ads. The next major update is slated for December. There shouldn't be any ads right now. I'm sorry. I, I played them all before this started. Hear that? That's the roar of the monster an ogre. next to come. Monster Hunter Now has large updates planned for every season, with plans to add more monsters and weapon types in the future. Please look forward to it. March 2024 will yes, mark three years since the release of the first Monster Hunter in Japan. Please! To the hunters all over the world, thank you. Have a look at the Monster Hunter 20th anniversary It's not logo just a logo. It better not just be a logo reveal. Series with a spotlight on hunters. Please. All right, that's new. That's Monster Hunter G. Wait, no. Wait, what? What is this? So far it's art, it's logos. This is new. I'd be so down with re-releases. We will have more announcements for the 20th anniversary <laughs> in the future. So please stay tuned <laughs> to our official site. No! So to enjoy the Monster Hunter series. No! <laughs> Next, we have some updates on our recently released games. Let's start with a look at what's new in Exoprimal. In title update one on August 16th, 10 variant exosuits join the exoprimal roster. How have you been enjoying them? Today, I'd like to share information for title update two. First, I'll introduce a new map, Ocean Platform. Why? <laughs> like, why, why, Island why show an anything? Plant. It was converted into a high zone synthesis what is the facility point? by the IBS Corporation. A fierce battle against dinosaurs will unfold in the war games on this structure above the waves. They could have Use said, like, we're giving you G. Movement-based skills and rigs to maneuver between combat areas. This is a map with a lot of verticality. So Thank use you, exosuits and rigs suited to the terrain. You Better blame me? Why is it my fault? Also, a new final mission called Escape is releasing in this title update. Escape is different than other final mission types. It's a 10-player cooperative mission where both teams work together to reach the goal. Escape is made up of two phases. No, they didn't announce anything. It's in like the they always phase, do. They announce the an announcement. And then they'll have a special showcase. Map. Where you'll show up and like, we're gonna announce the something more soon. You secure within the time limit, the more powerful your exosuit will be in the final phase. 
I already know in where I want to work. Phase, I want to work at DHL or UPS. Somewhere on the map. It's a logo for the 20th anniversary. It's not even a logo for a game. It's just like, hey, it's the 20th dinosaurs. anniversary. It could be the nothing. Will be a success. It could just the be we made a T-shirt with a logo a on it. Of time. So work together with your Why DHL or UPS? They pay thirty dollars an hour, and like that's okay. Title update two will also introduce two new rigs. The first is the drone. Won't rig. that mean being when on the deployed, roads all the time? I'd be getting paid to be on that. The explosion lingers on the map for a while and blinds any dinosaurs that come into contact with it. Am I actually getting a real job? Edge strike. Maybe. Edge strike fires a blade. Industry, it'd be great, man. And unleashes a quick slash. Edge strike is both a movement and an attack rig, so it can be used in unique The roads ways. don't get better because like I paid to be on them. The roads aren't better, target but like, at, least, swift at least I'm getting paid to be on. Here comes a new. It's challenger. just like. It's the street fight. Like, how long do we got to play Monster Hunter World for, dude? <laughs> we unveiled the new and guile exosuit like we've got, in our teaser this year. Like, like legitimately like it's we have another it, one October to show you. September, October, October, October November, November, skin. December. We got 3 months. Here are the exosuit skins. Another 3 months before Emos, any real news. Charms, stamps and decals I'm for not each character. Right. Players from all backgrounds, including fans of the Street Fighter series, can enjoy their unique appearances. Additionally, Season 2 of Exo Primal includes uh, new events, such as limited time campaigns for maybe Halloween it's in and other holidays. Still. Meeting special conditions during the What's the, the unannounced game? You you're not going to announce something in, in December? We also have plans for a double XP campaign. We'll announce the campaigns on our website and social platforms. Oh, people don't remember the Hunter don't Armor? Or is it Battle Armor? Title Update 2 is planned for release on Wednesday, October 18th. Exo Primal will begin Season Management 2 on sucks? the same day. I'm sure it's bad. The Season 2 Survival Pass features an array of unique items like these exosuit skins and emotes for you to We're enjoy. We're getting more time on Exo Primal with now, Fortnite that's all dances the news for than we did two for Monster Hunter. Season two. But I'll give you a little glimpse at upcoming updates. Oh no, this game's got a third title update announced. Here it is right here. It's for January. A collaboration with Monster Hunter is uh, also in was there. Please keep an eye out for more information. I Final saw it. You get to fight Rajay. 2024. That's interesting. There are even more updates on the way. We hope you'll continue enjoying Exo Primal. It makes you think there's something in January, but they haven't announced what it is yet. Check out the game and the exciting contents planned for our upcoming title updates. I'm a stockholder. I deserve to know. It'll be massively fun. I've got over 2,000 shares. My money. It's gonna be Street Fighter next, probably. Really? Yeah, I do. I invested big time. It's Street Fighter next. Here's some hot new information for Street Fighter 6. It'll be fine. When well, the stock dips after this presentation, where is it right now? Street Let's Fighter take a look. Six. One character, Rashid, was already added in Capcom July. Capcom stock is down literally 5%. <laughs> the second fighter, Aki, will finally join the fight on September 27th. Buy the dip now. Let's see what kind of fighter. Aki now would be is. the time to buy the dip. Aki is an understudy of Fung, a former leader of Shadaloo. She takes great joy in using her beloved. It'll go poison. up. I'm not worried. Don't people like hate poison in these fighting games? She's a tricky character that confuses her opponents with her snake fists and claws, adding damage through her poison. 
I thought people didn't like the poison guy in, what was it, Street Fighter V? She is a versatile fighter that mainly uses poisonous projectiles and claw attacks. Then moves into close range to deal even more damage to poisoned opponents. The announcement was an announcement? You can't even, there wasn't even a title. It wasn't even like, the game isn't going to be called Mo Cap Monster Hunter 20th Anniversary. Aki's Outfit 1 will have colors 3 through 10 available on release. And of course, Outfit 2 will also be available. That would be great. You know, if they wanted to just stagger releases, I'd be into it. Dude, she just killed him. Not only will she appear as a master in World Tour, but a new location, Tianhong Yuan, will be added as well to this mode. Don't miss it. Yeah, I like outfit too. Also, starting November 1st, within Master League Phase 2, a rank higher than the Master rank will be added, called Legend. The Legend rank is a special rank that is given to the top 500 players within the Master League. What's players me? who have reached the top 500 by the time the phase is finished You're gonna will receive grind that, a special sir? title. Try your best to reach even greater heights. Several functions will be added to training mode to make practicing easier. I don't think they would port all the games into one collection. I think it's too much value. They release them one at a time. Training mode shortcut settings, reversal settings, frame meter, recording settings, and more. A collaboration event with Meiji is on the way too. The Halloween Fighting Pass will also be available in October. Rashid and Aki aren't the only characters that will be added in year one for Street Fighter VI. Ed will join in winter after the new year, and Akuma arrives Where's that coffee pasta from, guys? Is Monster announced yet or never? It's never. Each added character can also be purchased individually with fighter coins. Those who want to get a deal on all four characters you may can purchase it. Pretty good. either the Year 1 Character Pass or the Year 1 Ultimate Pass, which includes outfits 2 and 3 for all four featured characters along with the additional stages. Don't miss out. We can't wait to see what the future will bring for Street Fighter VI. Next, let's check out some esports news. Uh, so bad, Leaf. Capcom Esports continues Is this to seriously going to be esports for the next introducing 13 minutes? the official tournaments for Street Fighter 6, the newest title in the series. The pinnacle of team battles, Street Fighter League. 9 teams of Japan's top players compete to be crowned best in Japan. Then, in the Street Fighter League World Championship, yeah, it's not the worth it to go pro in Street Fighter. For the I would legit crown. rather just flip the packages. You're excited to see these top ranked teams go head to head. Capcom Pro Tour Become the best in the world, you're laughing, and then everyone the hates you. Individual fighter. Did you do all credits to celebrate the 20th anniversary? The for a chance to I need to do in something Capcom in October. Cup. The first place prize for this year's Capcom Cup is $1 million. That would be a new, because we would have to add Sunbreak as well. Will be rewarded. The tournament is open to all participants, including pros and amateur players. Check out the official Twitter X accounts for tournament details. They didn't even have a Dragma release date. Finally, we have some more Capcom related information to share. At video games. Take advantage of our digital sale to get popular titles at affordable prices. In celebration of Tokyo Game Show 2023, well known Capcom titles are on sale for a limited time. Resident Evil 4 and Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection are on sale for the first time. Other popular Capcom titles are also on sale at convenient prices. Take advantage of this opportunity to check out any titles you may have missed. Now for some news about Capcom. Don't even get don't even the get me started about park, Capcom, Capcom Town. Town is currently Don't even get me started. Our 40th All it is is a web page that links you to the store page. Inside the museum, you can view game design documents. Oh, this is new. And play nostalgic games for free. 
That's new. When did they add that? All of us at Capcom are excited for you to visit. Next, a reminder about Capcom ID. I went to the website. Capcom I don't remember ID there being anything in there. I clicked the Monster Hunter thing and it linked me to a, a Monster Hunter Rise Pilot page and I got mad. And using the online functions of Street Fighter 6. <laughs> That's what happened. I, I clicked Monster Hunter and it said, do you want to buy Rise? I'm like, no! Services and campaigns. We plan on continuing to expand title services that can be used. Register now for Capcom ID. I mean, they still have 10 minutes. That's all the news. There's for still today. 10 minutes. Keep you said 15 minutes. Latest Capcom news. You said. And although we weren't able to showcase them today, let's not forget about our other upcoming titles. That's all for our event today. Thanks. For You're watching. not even gonna show them. You have 10 minutes. Okay, they're going to show up. Maybe I'll give a release date for this game. We've seen this already. We've seen this trailer. It's not new. Well, guys, I think it's over. It actually played the three minute ad break toad like exactly during the Monster Hunter reveal. And the funny thing is like, I thought it was already played. I'm not selling. I'm holding. It, it was a good time. I mean, I had a good time streaming guys. I think it was fun. They're developing the next Monster Hunter? Of course they are, but. Not anytime soon. Dragon's Dogma 2 looks good. Oh no, this is it for Capcom. I'm not even really sure how the game is gonna play as Radius. They're gonna show a little combat. It's a little confusing. They'll give us an announcement for an announcement. Probably Zebra Stripes. No, this is not the million sold game. They said there's an unannounced game that's going to sell millions of copies, and I just don't. Like, when are they going to announce it? Sexy Mega Man is not going to sell millions of copies. It would be the fiscal year, so they have until March. I mean, in theory, it's six months, right? What is after Capcom? I, I think this might be the last one. D3 is on. I don't really remember what D3 makes. Earth Defense Force? I mean, we may as well watch it. <laughs> but... It's, it's, it's been hard.
I mean, it could be at Game Awards or released in March. It's possible. We could get Monster Hunter in March. It's not like impossible. I think it's okay. I think most people are going to be like pretty understanding if I'm like, I'm done streaming. I just want to do, I'm just going to do package delivery. B3 Tokyo. Anyone have a link? Because I don't see it. Wasn't there five minutes left? Oh, I'm sorry. You think there was more there? No, that's it. It's done. That's it. Did we analyze the anniversary art yet? No. I'm just seeing if there's one more thing. We can. It looks like it's done. Is it done? This is the main Twitch channel. I think it's just done. Oh, it's 12 hours from now? D3 is in 12 hours? I thought D3 was next. Alright, well, let's take a look at that um, title art, I guess. God, crippling depression. There's there's going to be a lot of sad people. <laughs> Ace Attorney, Spirit of the first monster hunter in Japan. To the hunters all over the world, thank you. Have a look at the Monster Hunter 20th Anniversary logo and the first piece in the 20th anniversary art series with a spotlight on Hunter. This is fun. Why are we watching this? It just, it feels bad to watch this. I mean, that's like, they're like animating the logos. I'm like, that looks neat. No, this is it. It's probably AI animated. Oh, they probably used live 2D. It says Azure Rathalos armor. Rathalos armor. Kushala armor. It's kind of like in reverse order, right? It should have been Rathalos, then Azure Rathalos. Kushala for Dose. Tigrex for Freedom 2. Nargakuga for um, uh, Freedom Unite. The G Chris for try Zenogre. It's all the flagships. Zenogre for uh, portable third. Uh, Bracky for three U. That's weird. They've got Seregios. Shouldn't it be Gormagala? Is there somebody standing behind Velcana? Can't really see. Is that like Shigaru or somebody up in the air? Oh, is that Gore up there? Velcana. There should be. Oh, there's Nergigante. There's Velcana. Uh, there's Malzino, and then there's this thing. So what? What? What's going on with this guy? Okay. So what it's implying 
is um that's the hunter armor from Monster Hunter 1. Is that the Monster Hunter Now guy? Well, he's the Monster Hunter 1 guy. I mean, is that now? Is that just saying now? <laughs> <laughs> the origin armor is not in now. I don't know, man. I think it's really way more implying that the next game is going to feature uh, maybe something a little bit more scaled back. Maybe like a little regression in some of the systems, or at the very least, maybe a return to more caveman. We will have more now. Not necessarily a remake, because that doesn't really need a remake. We will have more like let I, let me promise you, the last thing you probably want to play, especially if Monster Hunter World was your first game, is a remake of Monster Hunter One. Like that wouldn't make any sense. Oh boy, I killed Monoblos. You know what I mean? Like, that's not really. You know, I mean, re I mean remake. I mean, what does that even mean? All right, you're gonna fight Velocidrome. I mean, they could reset it to just Monster Hunter. Oh, there's Gore in the air, and there's Glavinus. <laughs> I didn't even see him. Who's that? What is that? That's Gore. That's Glavinus. Who is that? Valstrax. Oh, fuck. Valstrax. I forgot about that. Forgot about it. Kind of forgot it. I, I mean, I kind of like repressed it. Be weird to reboot after the world? Um, Fake fan? Yeah, I'll take it. I, mean, I never really... You just got the job at Amazon? Yeah, me too. It, it does imply though, I mean, again, because like we know the producer, prob I mean, the director is probably gonna be Takuda. Like that's, that's more of his style anyways. What if it's a release of all monster games in one collection, like the Master Chief collection? I don't think so. Uh, it's like a lot of work for them to get all that stuff working at once and release it in one package. Like, I feel like it's got to be a new game. I'm looking at all the weapons to make sure that everything is represented. Yeah, I don't... Well, Eric's doesn't even... It's not even at Eric's Gaming anymore, is it? Maybe story's going to be placed at the beginning of Monster Hunter Lore? Like a prequel? Could be a, pre a prequel. That would be interesting. I mean, that's my preferred Monster Hunter is like... Too, too early. Still too early. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Although, screw you, Dose. Alright. Gets real good right around. Uh, let's say Freedom Unite is real good. Freedom 2 is hard to play. Freedom Unite's real good. Try is great. Little limited. Three. Uh, portable third is like peak. To like 4U is like real good. World is. Uh, skip this. <laughs> skip Valstrax. We're good. We don't need that. We don't need you either, Galavinus. World's great. Iceborne's great. This little section here. This little section. This section, we don't like this section. This section right here. Am I dissing Glavinus? He's a good he's a good monster. Can't say with a straight face that Velcana is better than Valstrax. Valstrax. 
as a fight independent of what the monster looks like is all right. It's a clown monster that should not be in the game. It shouldn't exist. It's for clowns. Um, you know, jet pack dragon. You mean to me a jet pack dragon exists in a world where like the flagship is just a monster that runs around and screams real loud. Valkana is so lame though. I spawned this collection of returning monsters. I mean, really, most of the expansions very rarely add a lot of monsters. It's usually just a lot of returning monsters. It's like, I'm not going to hate on Iceborne. I mean, even in 4U, I mean, it was mostly just subspecies. Whether or not you want to consider them new or not. Volcana's amazing. He said Volcana sucks. He started a fight. Nerd Gigante is maybe the best. I mean, that's like, that's like taking the formula and like making it real peak. All right, so, I mean, I'll take this. We will have more announcements for the twentieth for what it says, in the future, which is to say, so please stay tuned to our official site. We hope you continue to enjoy. There's a website? No way. Message. Counting down to the Monster Hunter series 20th, 20th anniversary. Dear intrepid hunters. Hold on. I, I'm going to save this Kogath tweet link for later. Uh, the Monster Hunter series will celebrate its 20th anniversary in March 2024. We on the Monster Hunter team would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of our players. We've only been able to reach this significant milestone thanks to your support. You're welcome. The first installment in 2004, players could wield five different weapons and set out from two settlements, Kokoto and Mineguard. Since then, the long journey of the past two decades has seen hunters traverse snowy mountains, the deep sea floor, ancient ruins, and undiscovered continents. We are absolutely overwhelmed by the love and enthusiasm you've all poured in the series over the years. Your valuable feedback and contributions have consistently aided us in adding user-tailored updates and developing even better gaming experience with each new title. Monster Hunter World managed to resonate with people all over the world. Even though the pandemic prevented us from meeting with many of you directly, you have sent us so many warm messages online. Cannot thank you all enough for all that you've given the series. With these 20 years of success behind us, we hope to ride this momentum and bring you bigger, better, and even more exciting hunting experiences that will thrill and surprise you. We invite you, dear hunters, to join us in the journey ahead. Happy hunting, the Monster Hunter team. What's the tweet? Uh, I mean, is he just like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> March 11th, 2024. I mean, is he saying I was wrong? I was, I'm, I was right just at the wrong time. He should have added me? I was just asking because you said something about Monster Hunter Sex Gen in 2020 I was not expecting news all. Was that speculation? It's either Monster Hunter 1 Remake, Monster Hunter 6, or a port of each Monster Hunter up until now. I mean, it's not going to be a Monster Hunter 1 Remake. It's going to be... Uh, 
I, it might, they might just call it Monster Hunter, but it's like, it's not going to be a remake. It'd have to be completely a remake. I'm not starting to beat with Gaijin Hunter. Gaijin Hunter was out there saying, like, he retranslated the original message, and he was saying, like, Ryoza was just happy to go to an event with other people. A reset remake should be the last thing they do. I mean, it's okay if they want to, like, set the game back in time. You know, certainly they, I mean, maybe they don't like, you know, slingers, hopefully maybe even wire bugs and stuff like that. And they want to get more grounded. But they're not going to, like, full-on remake Monster Hunter G. It's just, like, insane. Check the logo for clues. I see 15 weapons. Uh, what's, what's the hidden weapon? I mean, bow, lance, sword and shield, or dual blades, but I think that's sword and shield. Light bow gun, we'll call that dual blades. Hammer, insect glaive, I mean a bow gun. I mean, I guess that's heavy, that's light. Long sword, hunting horde, gun lance, switch axe, great sword. Or maybe charge blade is there, right? Yeah, I think that's charge blade. Pickaxe up top, that might be dual blades, because I don't really see another one, because that would be charge blade, that would be sword and shield. That would be insect glaive, so that'd probably be dual blades or something up top. Big reveal! They forgot dual blades! Dual blades not included! They're just like real tiny. What weapon is Nergigante using? Uh, It's got a big handle, so it looks kind of like the great sword, maybe? It looks like a pickaxe to me, but I guess that has to be dual blades. He has the Nergigante gun? It's really hard to see. It's time to farm Rathos in 14. I'm not going to Final Fantasy 14. Like, on one hand, it's nice because now we know it's nothing. But on the other hand, man, these are all flagship armor and weapons up until now. Yeah, I know. We went over it. We went over it in order. The only thing that's weird is they put um, Azure Rathalos before Rathalos. That's a little strange to me. I don't know why they did that. Because Azure Rathalos is the flagship for Monster Hunter G. And then the weird thing is they put the origin armor or battle armor, whatever you want to call it. Was that the hunter's armor? Up front. And I just think that's like, I don't know, that's a clue. I mean, not, not that we're grasping at straws, but um, I just, I think that's a hint for the next game, just like a little bit scaled back. That is not Monster Hunter now. I mean, maybe they're bookending it. Maybe they're trying to uh, give tribute to the first game by putting Azure Rathalos as G and then Rathalos as Freedom. Maybe. Uh, that's me grasping at straws, though. It's nothing. <laughs> It's not now. There's no promo of the origin armor anywhere. Yeah. Wonder why they're waiting to announce. I mean, if you're planning, I mean, Capcom usually doesn't like to announce games too far in advance. Like, usually they'll say this game's coming out and, like, the release date will be within, like, two to three months. So... You know, they'll drop it at Tokyo Game Show and then maybe we'll get it before March. 
All right, the Dragma 2 hours. What makes no sense. Within context, about it that. makes no sense. Four hours. But it does mean we absolutely have three months before I think anything. <laughs> Isn't Ryan getting announced for Xbox and PlayStation? I think they got the final one dropped. I think it's done. Is there another thing going on for Tokyo Game Show right now? Or, are we, or, or is it finished? I think it's done. Nisa thing? Level 5 already happened. I don't see uh I don't see a, uh anything on YouTube. Speedrun relay of every Monster Hunter game? I would crap my pants. Is it just on their Twitch page? <laughs> 